Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a review that I've been looking forward to doing for a very long time, eight months to be exact. I'm reviewing the Lynx 12. Okay? Um, I did an initial review of this when I first got the gun. I had put maybe, uh, I don't know, barely 100 rounds through it. At this point I have well over 3,000 rounds on it. Um, and you know, if you want to know what I think of it, well, here's Lynx 12 number two. Okay, I said at the time when I first bought this gun uh, that I hoped that this gun would work out for me and it would do the things I needed it to do uh, because I, I wanted to get a second gun. Because uh, in you know when I do my gun training, I do you know one of the things I do is I travel around, I teach people how to shoot clay discs, um, and it, it, it's basically you know this is a very popular gun that people like to shoot, um, and it's it, you know it's, it's fun to shoot. So I needed a gun that would stand up now. Um, prior to the Lynx, I had the Sega 12, and I have two of these, okay, and uh, you know, this one right here has over 30,000 rounds on it, and the other one that I have also has 30,000 rounds on it, um, and there's some issues with the, with the Sega 12 that I'm going to talk about in a minute, uh, but what I want to go back here and say is that uh, one of the things I noticed with the Lynx 12 is that they upgraded the boat. Uh, they now have a, a hardened chrome bolt, and you can see the difference, you know, that one's black, this one is, you know, it's like a, a, a grayish, silverish color, so that's one of the things that they did. I think initially I had paid $500 for this one, and that came with two free magazines, so basically you figure the magazines are about, you know, the 10 round magazines, they work about $25 each, um, you know, this one I paid $450. The, the SDS magazines, because basically the magazines that they sent me were SDS, I mean, they're, they're garbage. I mean, they, I had, I, you know, I had issues with the initial magazines that came in. They swapped it out for me. I got the new ones in. They, you know, they work, but, uh, you know, they'll, they'll work with Federal. They don't work with Winchester very well. Uh, but that's really my point because the Lynx 12 is a great uh, shotgun. For, for those of you not familiar with the, with the Lynx 12, basically this is an AK-47. Um, chamber, chamber to take shotgun shells. Now I've looked at um, at uh, like like AR-12s, right? Now, there's a big difference between the AR-12 and let's say the Lynx 12 in that you know the AR-12, even though it kind of looks like an AR-15, internally does not function as an AR-15. Okay, the one of the key features of the AR-15 uh, is that it has that expanding bolt, um, and uh, you know. Yeah, and I'm not surprised. I mean, they probably did try it out. They probably have experimented with it, and they probably found that the the, the bolt design of the AR-15 probably didn't work so well uh, for the you know for the added pressures of, of the 12 gauge. So with most you know AR-12s or AR-15 style shotguns, they have a completely different design. Now with the with these with the Sega 12 and with the Lynx 12, uh, they are true. Uh, to the to the original AK-47 design, uh, for the most part, everything inside it is pretty much the same, uh, with a few minor differences. Uh, but the the engine is pretty much the same. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put these two guns aside, and I'm going to go back to the to the Sega 12, okay? Um, and we're going to talk about some of the problems with this gun and how they've actually improved it uh, with the Lynx 12. Uh, now, mind you, when I say problems with the Lynx 12, you know, like I said, I that's after 30,000 rounds, um, and you know, most shotguns, most pumps, most shotguns are not going to be able to take that kind of a beating. Okay, so this gun has has done the miles. Now, one of the things I did, this gun originally came with this type of a stock. Actually, when this gun came, it uh, uh, it the every the, the the grip and the trigger were all the way back here. Um, something to do with the import requirements at the time and basically I had a, uh, a gunsmith move everything back up so it looks like a standard AK-47. The, the Lynx 12 comes with everything in the correct position so that it looks, you know, so that it looks like an, um, like an AK-47, okay? Um, so, so what I'm going to do is take this apart and as you can see, you know, there's your spring, you know, there's your bolt and basically this, you know, there's Bolt, bolt carrier. So this looks like a like an AK-47, right? Now one of the things that I'll have you guys look, if you look close over here, do you see that crack over there? Alright, put my hand behind it so it'll focus. 
See that crack over there? Now, this is true to the AK-47 design in the sense that, you know, you have a piston that screws into the bolt. Uh, but what, what has happened is that the, uh, I guess because of the added pressures of the 12 gauge, you know, this doesn't hold up very well. And the other uh, Sega 12 that I had, actually the bolt cracked in the same place. Uh, now this one basically, it hasn't cracked all the way through. This still works just fine. On the other one that I had, what happened is the two pieces actually came apart. And I made the mistake of trying to weld them back together. Um, and I tried to actually, uh, that, that didn't hold up, um, uh, the weld didn't, wasn't holding up, and then what I actually did is I tried um, uh, like cutting um, some lines into it and putting a hardened nail in there and then filling that in. Uh, so I tried various welding techniques and it did not work. So you know, basically the bolt doesn't, you know, is, is junk right now for that one. Um, if I had left it alone with the two part with the two separate parts, the gun actually was working. So I sh so if that happens to you guys, don't mess with it. If the gun shoots, just keep shooting it uh, because you're not. Well, actually, keep shooting it and get yourself a Lynx 12. Uh, but you're not going to be able to weld this back together. So, but anyway, this is the weak point of the Sega 12 right there. All right, and uh, let me put this back together so I don't lose parts. And let me pull out the Lynx 12, and we're going to do it fast. First of all, one of the things I'll say is that uh, there is a breaking period. Like, one of the things, when I cycle this gun, I can feel that this is very smooth. Um, with the new Lynx 12 that I, that I just got in, as I'm cycling this, I can feel it. it's a little bit, you know, more clunky. So it probably needs to be, I mean, the gun was greased up. It was oily when I got it. I mean, I mean everything was oily, the whole outside, the plastic, everything. But I can still feel that that bolt is, you know, there's a little bit more resistance there. So there's definitely, you know, this needs to be lubed up and it needs a break-in period. Um, but let me uh, open up. Let me put the new one aside. All right. And I'm going to open this up. Alright, so a couple of changes we made to this design. First of all, there's a, a rubber back here that did not exist in the original one. Right, this is the original Sega 12. It did not exist. There's a rubber back here to help um, absorb some, some of the impact from the bolt going back and forth. And here's the improvement. As you can see, as you compare the two bolts, Okay, this is the this is the Sega 12. This is the Lynx 12, and you can see how the Lynx 12 is a lot more solid. Uh, basically, everything from here to there is one piece of metal, and the connection point is right there. On the original, basically everything from there to there was one piece of metal, and the connection point is up there. Now this is true to the original AK-47 design. Um, However, apparently the original design was not suitable for the type of pressures that the 12 gauge is going to deliver. So, so Lynx basically uh, changed the bolt design. And with the 3,000 rounds that I have on this on this bolt, I don't see any wear, any cracks, I don't see anything. Uh, the other interesting thing for you guys to know is with the 3,000 rounds, I have not cleaned this gun once. Okay, this gun has never been cleaned. Uh, so it's got 3,000 rounds on it, and it is working pretty good. Um, okay. The other cool thing I like that they did, uh, they actually improved the, uh, the gas the gas, uh, the gas valve, rather. On the, um, on the uh, uh, Sega 12, basically, they, th th there was a gas adjustment up here. And basically, it just had two gas, you know, it had two positions that you could adjust. Uh, you would use one, let's say, for, you know, you had a big hole and a small hole. And presumably you would use one for bird shot and the other one for slugs and for, for, for buckshot. With the Lynx 12, they give you four positions, okay? They give you four positions and basically you're able to turn that and there's a, there's a little uh, an indent uh, pin over there that you press down and you turn it. Basically the big, what appears to be a big circle is basically a big hole for bird shot. And then you they, you got three other small holes, and I guess the tiniest one would be for slugs. Okay, so so this is a an improvement. 
I pretty much bought these guns, all these guns, so I can shoot bird shot. I do, you know, I train people in clay disc shooting, and I need to, you know, I will typically go, because sometimes I go through a thousand rounds in a weekend, okay? Um, so, so I brought, so I primarily shoot these with bird shot. If you were shooting, let's say, slugs all the time through these, I, I don't know, you know, if you would get the type of mileage that I got on the Sega 12. I don't know if you would get the, the 30,000, the 30,000 rounds with slugs. Um, I, I just don't know the answer to that, but I can tell you, with bird shot, the Sega 12 with 30,000 rounds, each of them. I have two of them, uh, and the the bolts did, you know, stop breaking around that 30,000 round mark. Uh, the um, the, the Lynx 12 with the uh, with, with, with the you know improved um, uh, bolt. I mean, they're, they're they look like brand new, other than it's just dirty. Um, with 3,000 rounds I have on them, and and I'm glad that they upgraded it on, the, on this new one with the hardened chrome bolt. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna buy another chrome bolt. I'm probably gonna stick one of those. Uh, you know, basically, I want to get at least two more chrome or these chrome bolts because the problem with the Sega 12s. You cannot replace these bolts, okay? A lot of times people will ask me, well, you know, one guy actually asked me that, that they saw a Sega 12 on, on uh, gun brokers. Do I think it's a good deal? Um, and I said, you know, unless you can inspect the bolt and make sure it's not cracked, I would not buy it uh, because this is the weak point and you're not going to know unless you actually open the gun up uh, and look at it, okay? Um, uh, one other thing that I like on the uh, Lynx 12 that they improved is the... Uh, uh, the thread, the thread cover over here, the original, and I keep saying original Sega 12, that's original to me, I mean, I, I think the, the Vepper actually came before this, but the, the, the Sega 12 had a, a plastic thread cover, and basically that, that cracked and came off a long time ago. Uh, with the Lynx 12, um, they have a, you know, it's a metal thread cover. You know, that's where you would attach it, chokes and stuff like that. And I, I don't play with tro with chokes. I just keep a straight board because I'm shooting at plate discs at a relatively close distance. Um, so, 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 th so that's another improvement on this uh, on the Lynx 12. Uh, now, one of the things I should mention is before the Lynx 12, SDS had the Cheetah 12, and I actually bought that and got rid of it. Uh, and I st actually, it's still sitting in the gun store. I still haven't sold it. Don't buy that. That is garbage. Um, Basically, the dust cover kept blowing off of it. Uh, you know, the, the dust cover design was just way too thin, and it just getting, kept getting ripped over here and deformed. And they put the rear sight on the dust cover so that, it, it, you know, it, it, it would, it, you know, obviously when you lost the dust cover, you no longer had a rear sight. So the, the Cheetah 12 is absolutely junk. Don't, don't buy that. But the, the Lynx 12 is a very good, um, a very good shotgun. Uh, I think everybody should have this. I think you know. There's a video I did a while ago. Um, you know, five. Um, you know, you know, five guns that you must have um, for a shit hit the fan type of situation. And 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 I said, yeah. Not only did you have to have these five guns, but you had to have two of them. Okay. And that was AR-15. You got to have two AR-15s. You have to have two AK-47s. You got to have two Glocks. Okay. Glock 17 or 19. I don't care which one. Um, you have to have uh, uh, one Ruger 10-22. For, for hunting small game, okay, and you have to have two shotguns, okay. And the two, and, uh, now in that video, I showed a pump shotgun um, because that's kind of more common to people. But in reality, these are the two shotguns I want: two Lynx 12s. Um, you know, one, especially uh, if you're using it for a home defense type of situation. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, even people that shoot clay discs all the time and they're using pumps and they think that the pros with it. If once I, you know, even those guys that shoot all the time, if I stress them. A lot of times they'll they'll screw up with those pumps. They won't pump it hard enough. They they'll, they'll drop the shells when they go to reload. So I see even the expert, uh, you know, shotgun shooters screw up with pumps just because there's a lot of work involved. Uh, with the you know semi-automatic is definitely the way to go. With a Lynx club, just putting a 10-round magazine and just you know blast away at the trigger. Um, and the, the magazines are no more difficult to get in than you would with an AK-47. Um, so uh, uh, one of the things I was mention is uh, this is the stock that comes with the Lynx 12, like more this traditional AK-47 design, and uh, I don't like it. Uh, I switched it out to the collapsible design. Uh, aside from the fact that it, it, it's you know it's cool because if you got a woman or somebody with shorter arms, you can you can shorten it up. Um, 
you know, it's a lot more comfortable to shoot um, because what happens is you have a little bit more of a surface area and it comes lower. Okay, this, this comes down a little bit lower so you can hold the gun. Like you can put that heel in your shoulder, hold the gun here, um, and, and this flat surface seems to absorb the, imp you know, basically it spreads the impact a little bit better. Uh, I was shooting this one just before. Uh, first of all, it's a smaller area. From, from there to there, it's shorter. And because of the curve it has, I mean, this really can dig into your shoulder. So, so with the 12 gauge, this, this definitely, with this stock, you're going to feel the, the 12 gauge a lot more. Um, now, one of the things I'm going to also say, though, is uh, if you're shooting, if you're, if you're using this gun, it, especially with the bird shot, make sure it's tight in your chest. Um, with a lot of people, sometimes when I'm training them, like instead, like I'll extend it all the way, because what happens is I find if I shorten it up, they don't quite pull it in as tight, and they start getting jams. Whereas if I extend it all the way, then they kind of have no choice. I got to pull it into the shoulder, and I find that they get they'll get less jams. Now the jams that they get are usually user error um, from not pulling the gun in tight enough. Um, it does help a lot of times, especially if I have women shooting it. I'll take some gun oil. And I'll open this up and I'll just I'll just spray it. Uh, just by lubing it, basically there's you know more room for error on the part of the shooter. Um, so so you know they have less of a jam, of a chance of jamming it up. So so that's what I'll usually do. If I got people jamming this up when they shoot when they're shooting it, I'll just I'll just open the gun up and I'll just spray it. Uh, you know like I'll, I'll open this up. I'll hold this open and I'll just you know I'll, I'll spray it right now actually. I'll spray it there. Spray the back. I'll pull it back over here, spray there. I'll, I'll spray inside over here. The reason why I spray it inside here is because when the when when the shells go to feed, I want a, the least amount of friction as possible. And already with that little lubing that I gave it, I can see that this is a lot smoother. Okay? I've only shot about 10 to 12, 10 rounds through this. Um, so there is my review of the Lynx 12. Um, I don't think that I can give it a better review other than to say that I went and I bought a second Lynx 12, you know. Um, it's definitely an improvement over the Sega 12. Um, very happy with the gun, very happy with, uh, uh, with SDS. I, you know, um, when I had the problem with the magazines with SDS, they were pretty good about helping me out with it and, and, and replacing them. Um, but uh, that said, uh, try to avoid the SDS magazines, get the ones from, uh, um, you know, the, Pro Mag and ATG. I forgot what the name of this. Um, this one is AGP. Um, these work good. I think they've worked flawlessly for years. But um, uh, thanks for watching. If you got any comments, please post them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys next time.